hello guys welcome to today's video by trust stanley and this is another ts tech talks video on today's video guys i'm going to discuss more about the facebook group settings and on this video i'm going to show you guys how to edit your facebook approval setting for your facebook group now if you have a facebook group and you want to allow people to approve it and um, you decide for some reason you want to set more um, information on the group and who can um, automatically be pre-approved to join the group i'm going to show you guys just how to manage the group with the approval option now let's go over to your facebook group and i'm going to click on this group icon there are different ways to click on that you can click on the group icon on the top or on the left or you can just go ahead and click on the menu and you are going to see so many options just click on the group icon on the menu section it will be displayed right there so i already click on the icon on the top area so it will display this news feeds for the group and now all i need to do is to scroll down to select my group now um the group i already have pinned are going to be displayed on the top section so i'm going to scroll to the exact group that i want to um, edit or work on so i'm clicking on this ts tech group for for more information now once the group option displays you are going to notice the news fed will display first and then on the left hand area to edit this particular group you notice this um badge icon right there that is the option or the icon that you need to click on in order for you to manage or to make settings on your group so go ahead and click on that badge icon just before the search icon or let me say the hourglass no it's not an hourglass it's a search icon anyway so click on the badge and it will display um, some information on the left hand area now go ahead and scroll down and you will notice where it says settings right click on the settings option because that is actually where we are going to and then wait for it to display once it displays go ahead and scroll right down to the membership area you notice where it says manage members right now on this particular section um all we want to work on is actually the membership request like we discussed now if you want to edit this membership request you notice where it says who can approve members on your page that is actually what we want to work on so we want to confirm the person that will approve members on the page now um to edit this click on this pencil icon next to that option that says who can approve members on your group click on that pencil icon for you to display the other options now on default once you create a facebook group on default the option that will be selected or that will be set is anyone in the group now what this first option actually means is that anyone on your group anyone who is currently on the group can accept members on the group now if anybody tries to join the group it will have an approve and reject option. So if there are anybody on that particular group that notice this membership icon, they can easily click on the uh, membership membership request area and then click on approve but if you choose to only have the admin or the moderator manage this particular option you can set that by selecting the group one so to switch from this option you notice the one on blue right the one on blue is actually active one so if i choose this or choose that that is all that is going to be active so for some reason i'm going to choose this first option that says only admin and moderators so now only the admin and moderators can manage the group so if i'm ready to choose this particular option all i need to do is to click on save now when i save this option anybody that tries to join the group can only be approved by the admin or the moderators in the group now so more settings that we can do for the pre approval on the group now if you want anybody to be pre-approved to join the group like automatically join the group once they choose to join your group now all you need to do is to click on the pencil icon next to where it says who is pre-approved to join the group now these other people also do not need to um they do not need anybody to approve them to join the group once they want to join the group and click on join they automatically join the group now all you need to do is to click on this pencil icon right there for the option to display 
Now, you notice right there, you have more options that says manage group, right? Now, you can manage people that will be pre-approved to join this group. Now, go ahead and click on the pages icon. Now, on, on default, you do not have this selected. I only selected this few moments ago because I want this particular option to be selected. So, on default, this is how you are going to see it. It will display every group that you actually manage as your profile you notice this my profile right there that says um trust Stanley, right now i'm also the admin of this other groups that is displayed right there this is um three different groups right there now if i choose um if i want these group members to automatically join this other group that is called ts tech group i will have to select these options right there right there if you have other groups displaying they are all going to be displayed here but i only have two groups that i already created apart from the ts tech group these other two groups are also my group that's the reason why i see them displaying here so if you have yours yours is going to display your group name and whatever but if you only have one group they are not going to be displayed because you actually have only one group but if you have two groups the other group is going to display here so once you select this group they will pre um they will be able to join the group without having any approval on the page. So that is what this setting does. So after you've chosen them, go ahead and click on save. The reason why it didn't give me any save icon is because I already selected this option before. So I'm going to click on save and you notice it's saving, right? Now, after I leave this option or after it disappears, that option have already been saved and anybody that uh, wants to join the group can automatically join the group without having any approval from anybody and now for some reason if i choose this option now you can notice the pre-approved um group is only one right there now if i try to scroll down you can notice the other group that i did not select the other time and i can go ahead and choose the option right there again for them to join the group whenever they want now if i'm okay with this i'm going to click on save and it will be able to save this group and this particular settings will automatically be active on our group so um once you're done with the group settings go ahead and click on the home page to navigate back to the home page and all of these settings have been set for this particular group called ts tech group for trust Stanley's ts tech group now if this video is okay for you guys um please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for more video make sure you turn on the bell icon if you haven't done that the bell icon is going to help you to get notification of every video i make and if for some reason you guys are interested in watching more videos about um the facebook groups and every other setting and more things to know about the facebook group i already have a playlist for it you can check out my channel for the facebook group playlist you can watch all of these videos and hopefully it will be able to help you and if this video is helpful please share it to some other people on your social media for more people to be able to watch this video it's going to be really helpful for a lot of people that do not know how to do this and also i really appreciate to like the video um thank you if you have any issue leave it on the comment section hopefully i'll be able to help you to solve that and this is the end of the video Thank you for watching. Stay safe, guys. Peace.